Hello, in this video I will tell you about our recent publication reporting the development of advanced drug delivery systems for the treatment of glaucoma. Our eye produces a fluid called aqueous humor. It flows through a pupil into an anterior chamber and drains through a sponge-like structure called trabecular meshwork. In patients with glaucoma, the drainage is inefficient, which leads to an increase in the pressure within the eye. This continuously increased pressure causes the irreversible damage to the optic nerve. There are several types of therapeutic agents that are used to treat glaucoma. These include prostaglandin analogs, beta blockers, carbonic anhydrase inhibitors, sympathomimetics, and myotics. Pilocarpine hydrochloride is a myotic that opens up an inefficient channel in the trabecular meshwork. Typically, it is used for the treatment of angle closure glaucoma. Adult patients with this condition are recommended to apply eye drops up to four times a day to control the intraocular pressure. Our eye is a very challenging target for drug delivery. This is related to several barriers that protect the eye from external factors. The surface of the eye is continuously irrigated with a tear fluid which drains through the lacrimal duct. The tear fluid is redistributed evenly on the surface of the eye through blinking. This results in a very short residence of the molecules administered to the eye as eye drops. Even small drug molecules will have little chance to penetrate into the eye due to the short residence time and also because of poor permeability of the cornea. Therefore, typical bioavailability of the drugs administered topically to the eye is less than 3-5%. to One way to improve the drug bioavailability is to increase the residence time through the use of mucoadhesive polymers. Gel and gum is a water-soluble anionic polysaccharide produced by the bacterium Sphingomonas elodea. It consists of two residues of D-glucose and one of each residues of L-rhamnose and D-glucuronic acid. In water, it could form viscous, transparent solutions. However, when these solutions are mixed with the media containing some inorganic salts, it results in immediate formation of transparent gel. In situ gelation could occur under physiological conditions present in the ocular environment. This unique ability of gel and gum already resulted in its application as a gelling agent in timolol maleate of thalmic gel forming solutions for the treatment of glaucoma. In our previous video, we already discussed the chemical approaches used to enhance mucoadhesive properties of polymers. We have also recently reported that metacrylation of chitosan results in significant improvement in its ability to adhere to mucosal tissues. In order to synthesize gel and gum with enhanced mucoadhesive properties, we have used reaction with metacrylic anhydride which resulted in metacrylated derivatives. Three different metacrylated derivatives were synthesized with low, medium and high degrees of metacrylation. The success of this synthesis and the degrees of metacrylation were confirmed using proton NMR spectroscopy. The NMR spectra have shown the appearance of new peaks that belong to metacrylal groups. In vitro retention experiments were done using freshly excised bovine conjunctival tissue that was placed into a flow channel in an incubator. Each mucoadhesive polymer formulations were prepared with sodium fluorescine and were placed onto a conjunctival mucosa. Then these were washed with artificial tear fluid to mimic the tear flow. Images were taken after each wash with 1 ml of artificial tear fluid using fluorescent microscope. These images were analyzed with image analysis software and converted into numerical values. Our data indicate that metacrylated gel and gum has shown statistically significant improvement 
in retention of fluorescent dye or ocular mucosa. In vivo experiments were conducted in laboratory rabbits. Filocarpin hydrochloride formulations were applied as drops in their left eye and the right eye served as a control. It caused left eye pupil constriction, which was non-invasively monitored using a web camera. The difference between the pupil diameter in the left and the right eye at different time intervals indicated the efficiency of drug delivery. The presence of unmodified gel and gum in the formulation significantly improved the efficiency of pilocarpine hydrochloride. Gel and gum with low degree of metacrylation exhibited even better performance compared to unmodified polymer. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you'd like to learn more about this topic, please read our paper. Please also sign up for our channel.